Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. Well, in this video, we will be discussing about metabolic alkalosis and the responsibilities of a nurse. Before entering into the topic, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. What is metabolic alkalosis? Metabolic alkalosis is a clinical disorder in which the pH is more than 7.35 and the bicarbonate is more than 26 mmHg. As we all know, the normal value of pH ranges between 7.35 and 7.45 and the normal value of bicarbonate ranges between 22 to 26. Now, let's discuss about the causes of metabolic alkalosis. Before looking into the causes, there are two different kinds of metabolic alkalosis. Metabolic alkalosis is defined as a primary increase in plasma bicarbonate and it can be divided into chloride sensitive and chloride resistant metabolic alkalosis. The one associated with sodium chloride deficiency and extracellular fluid depletion often is described as chloride sensitive and the one associated with enhanced mineralocorticoid activity commonly is referred to as chloride resistant metabolic alkalosis. Let's discuss about the causes of both chloride sensitive and chloride resistant metabolic alkalosis. The causes for chloride sensitive metabolic alkalosis include vomiting, gastric drainage, diarrhea, villus adenoma, diuretics, low chloride intake and cystic fibrosis. Chloride resistant metabolic alkalosis may be caused by increased mineralocorticoid activity, hyperaldosteronism, edematous disorders, Cushing syndrome, Barter's syndrome, and severe hypokalemia. Other miscellaneous causes for metabolic alkalosis may include massive blood transfusion, acetate containing colloid solution, alkali therapy, hypercalcemia, milk alkali syndrome bone metastasis. Now let's discuss about a partially compensated metabolic alkalosis and a fully compensated metabolic alkalosis. This example contains the value of pH 7.52, PaCO2 is 47 and bicarbonate is 30. Value of pH is abnormal which is more than the normal value that is 7.52 and value of bicarbonate is also more than the normal range that is 30 where basic along with the basic indicates it is a metabolic alkalosis because the pH is abnormal it is called a partially compensated metabolic alkalosis in a partially compensated metabolic alkalosis the blood pH is abnormal the body is trying to correct the imbalance with the secondary response by increasing the PaCO2 and here the mechanism is hypoventilation where the carbon dioxide is retained and hence the value of PaCO2 is also above the normal range. Now the next example, the value of pH is 7.45 which is almost the normal range, value of PaCO2 is 49 which is above the normal value and value of bicarbonate is 30 which is also above the normal value. Value of pH and value of bicarbonate indicates basic along with basic to represent that it is a metabolic alkalosis and because the pH value is almost in the normal range it is called a compensated metabolic alkalosis. In a compensated metabolic alkalosis the blood pH is normal and the secondary response is by increasing the PaCO2 and here the mechanism is hypoventilation where the carbon dioxide is retained and hence the value of PaCO2 is above the normal range. Now let's discuss about the signs and symptoms of metabolic alkalosis system wise. Neurological symptoms include drowsiness, dizziness, confusion and nervousness. Respiratory signs and symptoms include hypoventilation. Neuromuscular symptoms include hypertonic muscles muscle cramps, tetani, tingling of extremities, and seizures. Cardiovascular signs and symptoms include dysrhythmias related to hypokalemia and tachycardia. Gastrointestinal symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and anorexia. Laboratory findings may include APG analysis, which shows pH more than 7.45, 
bicarbonate more than 26 and PaCO2 more than 45 mmHg which undergoes compensation in the secondary response. Decreased levels of cerium, potassium, calcium and chloride. Urine chloride level is less than the normal one and ECG changes detect dysrhythmias caused by decreased potassium. It's about the management of metabolic alkalosis. This depends on identifying and treating the underlying causes of metabolic alkalosis. The general management measures include drug therapy with proton pump inhibitors, IV potassium correction, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, example acetazolamide that is Diamox, ammonia supplement with ammonium chloride for severe or persistent metabolic alkalosis and re-expanding the volume with normal saline. Hemodialysis is indicated in patients with marked renal failure. The nursing management includes checking the vital signs, monitoring heart rate, rhythm and ECG tracing, checking the mental status or neurologic status, maintaining semi fowler's position, monitoring electrolytes level, monitoring intake and output, providing seizure or coma precautions, ABG analysis, potassium infusion preparation, monitoring respiratory status. Respiratory rate usually decreases in an effort to compensate for alkalosis. Some of the nursing diagnoses for metabolic alkalosis include disturbed thought processes, decreased cardiac output, risk for injury, and ineffective breathing pattern. So this is all about today's video regarding metabolic alkalosis and the responsibilities of nurse. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.